Hello everyone, I welcome all of you at Geeks for Geeks learning platform. I hope you all are safe and well. So I'm Avinash and today's session we are going to discuss a special Q&A with an expert. Okay, so as we all know that the placement season is going on and a student have a multiple doubt in their mind whether they have to go for the placement as well as whether they have to go for the masters or they have to choose their uh, examination for their government services. Okay, so right now we have an expert here. She's an IT and as well as she has a good experience in the relevant industry. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sakshi Singhal. Hi, Sakshi. So, uh, thank you so much for being in this session, Sakshi. And uh, we have uh, some doubts here as well as some questions regarding to this. As you have already cleared that uh, IIT as well as you have that experience. So, can you please tell me your experience journey plus uh, we have uh, some questions too. So, let me start with the first question. Like if the student who is appearing for the gate examination and if the student who is appearing for the preparation series or placement series, okay. So, what would be the syllabus difference that uh, if the student is appearing for the placement or if the student is appearing for the gate examination? Yeah, many students have this confusion like they have to appear for placement or gate. So if I'll talk about gate syllabus, so gate basically comprises of core subjects which they have studied in past four years. Also, we have aptitude and engineering mathematics. And at the same time, if I'll see placement, placement requires aptitude and their core subjects. But what happens, students get confused that they have to prepare for placement or gate examination. but problem is that placement is a subset of gate exam. If you prepare yourself for gate exam, you already preparing yourself for placement. So at the same time, what you can do, you can uh, just go through the syllabus of your gate exam and later on you can prepare placements by going through aptitude first and later. Uh, if you are from computer science, then you can go for uh, competitive programming because they ask lots of questions and you have to be good in competitive programming. Yeah, so uh, you can prepare both at the same time. First, just you have to go through all the subjects which you have studied in your graduation. So you mean to say like if I'm preparing for the gate examination, so my preparation series will cover ho jayega. Right, that's quite relative. So, the second question is like, as a student, if I'm asking, like, if as a student, whether uh, because if I'm the fourth year, okay, and if I'm preparing for the gate examination or I'm preparing for the preparation, so is it worth like I should drop my preparation part for the preparation of gate examination? Uh, yeah, let's talk about gate first. What will gate give you? Gate help us to get immense knowledge of the core subjects. Uh, that's why PSU and top colleges hires from gate. But the problem with gate is that uh, success rate is very low. It's around 10 to 15 percent every year for gate exam. So what students can do? Students think that they have to drop their placement for gate exam, but that is not relevant at all. They have to consider placement as a backup. So if you have to placement for 2 or 3 months, we can easily placement it to our backup and later on we can go for the place uh, we can go for the uh, gate preparation and also for any another internship off campus or any another thing that will help in future opportunities 